Hello, my friends. This week's Time for All Ages is just a reflection on these cats. So you might wonder, I didn't realize Tara had cats and I don't have cats. I am currently taking care of these two kitties that belong to one of my best friends. She's away on a trip. And so she asked me to take care of her cats. And what does that have to do with church? These are all great questions. This week in church, we're talking about living a life of love. And I was thinking about that theme this week and I started thinking about how love can look so many different ways. And so um, a couple of the ways that love has looked like in my week is doing tasks to take care of these sweet cats that I don't really love doing. For example, when I'm taking care of the cats, living a life of love and choosing love for these cats means that I have to clean their litter box. I don't really like cleaning the litter box, but it's one of the things that I do for the cats that expresses my love for them. Gives them a clean place to go to the bathroom. Another thing I don't really love doing is feeding them their wet food. I am a vegetarian. I don't really like touching meat. And so opening the can and smelling the wet food isn't really my favorite part of the day, but I love these cats and I love my friend who owns these cats. And so living a life of love means that sometimes I have to do things like feeding them the wet food that I really don't like. Another thing I did is I let them play in my laundry basket. They've been chewing on the edges of this wicker laundry basket a little bit because it's sort of crunchy and it sounds funny and it's not theirs, so it's kind of novel and exciting. I don't really love that they're chewing on my basket, but they are. And it's been really fun for them to play in it. And so I decided earlier that it would be a loving and fun thing to let the cats play in the basket. And so all of this had me thinking what are some different ways that we can live a life of love? What might be some things in your day or in your week that on the surface might not look like a deeply loving thing, but comes from a place of love in your heart? So I invite you to think about that this week. That's the cat tunnel. I invite you to think about that this week, and I look forward to hearing what you come up with. Until then, know that these kitties and I are thinking of you and sending you our love. And I hope that your week is wonderful and full of not too much mischief. Take care, friends.